Hello you Spurs obsessed humans, welcome to Spurred On and another episode of Spurvers, the show where we talk about everything that gets us absolutely excited to be Spurs fans. And today on part one, we are going to talk about transfers because everyone loves transfers. Big time. Or transfers. Very clever, yeah, very well, clever. Mix it up. All right, we're going to talk about the first one, Casillas, the arrogant man that he is. Uh, he's been at Real Madrid for about 100 years and uh, he wants to leave now. Well, he doesn't want to leave. They want to kick him out, really, let's be honest. It's the, it's the merry-go-round of goalkeepers, isn't it? So yeah. if De Gea goes there, he comes to us, Lloris goes to United. That's Could, what they reckon is going to happen. Yeah, a little merry-go-round. Would you want him? If Lloris has to go, then I don't mind having him as a replacement, is Maybe, what I'm saying. I'd rather just keep Lloris. Pet check? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really mind. It would. I, I, I like the neatness of the merry-go-round, I think. That's we, don't wanna, I like. we don't want to disrupt the neatness. Yeah, of, I like the know. neatness. I wouldn't it's mind check. But uh, we want Lloris. Because he is in a dodgy season, but the Real Madrid fans, they do get on someone's back as soon as they make a mistake, as yeah, we've everyone. seen from uh, young, lovely Gareth Bale, mm. um, who you should leave him alone. Leave him alone. Uh, and the same about Casillas, if he's going to be a Spurs player, leave him alone, unless he's not, and then do what you want, yeah. don't care. But let's just wipe that off the table, because Hugo Lloris is staying. And that's yeah, how definitely be. staying, We're not definitely staying. To Daniel coming. Levy said him and Harry Kane are never going to yeah. leave. So. Yeah. so, all right, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, Carlos Tevez. Yeah. Know, the guy with the, you know, thing on his neck. I don't know if that was necessary, but I put that in there anyway. So, you know, played Champions League final for Juventus, he played for Man United, West Ham, um, and now he's being linked with a move to possibly us and Liverpool. It's always us or Liverpool. Yeah. Why? Why is it always us or Liverpool? Is it just because we're like Europa those... League. Europa, uh, Europa League, innit? But does Tevez really want to go from that Why to would this? Tevez sign for us? I don't understand. I would love, I would love to have... Tevez play for us. Amazing. I think he's amazing. I think he's absolutely brilliant. I don't understand why he would sign for us. Where did this come from? It'd be bit tail between his legs. Is this, it? Was this he's swallowing his pride. Rumor or no. Did Barnaby made this up? I feel like Barnaby just Barnaby made this up, really, didn't he? Yeah, he really made this up. I will just move on to the next one. Seller. Uh, you know him, Chelsea uh, on loan at Fiorentina. This is a real one. Back. This is a real this one. The Barnaby real one. didn't make yeah, up. Yeah, Everyone's talking one. about this one. Mohamed yeah. Salah played amazing against us in Europa. He uh, did. Was yeah. For us getting knocked out of the Europa. Big time. And, um, he Spursy. Scored, he scored so many goals, and uh, I take him. I would think he'd be. I think he'd be great. I take him. Very quick. Very, very quick. Very pacey. Uh, looks really good. Never mm. really given a proper chance at Chelsea. No one really um, is. Though, are they? No one really is. Very mm. difficult. But like, I think he could be really good for us. He obviously doesn't fit in with Mourinho's pl master plan. No. But if he fits in with Poch's, I'd love to see Salah at us. Would he, I think he'd be great. Would he start over Lamella or Chadley? I mean, I mean either one. I'd be happy with. <laughs> I'm not picky. That's it, Salah. Then uh, we'll take you here, White Hart Lane. Come, sign. So you are. We we'll have players. him. We'll have him over Chadley, and we'll have Balassi over Lamella. Ah, Balassi. So this is another player that we've actually been linked with, uh, Yannick Balassi. You know the part-time footballer, should I say full-time footballer, part-time rapper. Have you seen his rap? I haven't seen his raps. YouTube? You need to watch them, they're pretty terrible. Um, Have you seen Clint Dempsey's rap? What? Yeah, Clint Dempsey's got a rap. What is this? Clint yeah, Dempsey yeah, yeah. raps? Clint Dempsey raps. He, he raps, yeah. I mean. Well, he is a yank, so I'm not surprised. Um, but Belassi, would you take him at Spurs? Yeah, I would. Set, he'd been setting the wings alight at Crystal Palace. Oh, he's been going crazy. I think he's great. I think Belassi's really great. He got me a lot of fantasy football points. He's been he's been labelled like a playground footballer. Just a footballer that just does anything he the wants. The skill thing that yeah. he did last season that when he, Crazy. Yeah, they, he did a tutorial video about it. Who's after life he'd done did he tear to shreds again? Can't remember. I can't the game. remember. God, it's right. he was great. Not, whoever it was, we're it was on great. To the next one. And the reason that Balassi is linked to us is because he favourited a tweet that someone said sign for Spurs or are you going to sign for Spurs. He favourited a tweet. Oh, so footballers He's giving it away on Twitter. With the fans. And uh, speaking of footballers interacting with the fans, um, a footballer interacted with a fan recently. We're not going to go into. We'll go into that a bit later. But we're going to talk about the last possible signing that might be coming to Spurs. And uh, his name is Michael Richards. And uh, I think what? we should take Michael Richards, to be honest. Why, Mike, why would we sign? Because he's like the best, you know, defender Old, slow, ever. doesn't fit in with what we're doing ever. right now. Come doesn't on. make sense to sign Michael he Richards. He has so much international What's pedigree. Why he's won Premier League titles. Right, that is just amazing. What's the real reason? Why do you really want to sign him? No, it's just he's... All right, basically, when I was out in Dubai, you know, Mike Richards may have just stopped me while I was strolling with my girlfriend, looking like the model I should be. Unbelievable. And uh, just commented me on my overall appearance and uh, just said that he thinks I'm he a didn't gorgeous stop man. You and, he didn't stop you and say, you're a gorgeous man. He said he, he wished he had pecs like me. No, really. No, he stopped me and said that he watches Filthy Fellas and that he's a big fan of the show. Never heard and of it. That, uh, and that, uh, yeah, he just, he just, he 
more, yeah. of a, more of a spurred on fan myself. But and uh, I asked him if he'd come White Hart Lane and he just, he said he'd love to. So, um, Did he? Can you, can you reveal that? Is that an exclusive that you can reveal? No, he didn't. He didn't. He said he, well, he, said he has to keep Tyler to buy it. But, you know, oh, my switches, those Still. doors are open. They're doing in. that, that's, that's just in. a favourite in person doing that. Just who knows? That's what it is. It's a, yeah. So, my Richards, possible. There you go. Five Come options. Bromance. A bromance has, has started. You don't want between you and him. Please don't get jealous. You, when do you go to White Hart Lane? You don't, you don't live uh, there. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, this has been Smurvitz part one. Uh, let us know your thoughts on the possible transfers. Do you think they're real? Do you think we'll sign any of those players? And uh, be sure to subscribe. I've been Craig Mitch. This has been Reese James. Hi guys, Barnaby Slater here once again for Spurred On on holiday cam from Italy. Uh, I'm here in the dinghy in the pool to give a Tottenham reaction to the fixture.